It's 12.47 in the morning. Just working a nine-hour shift at KSNT. News 37 in Topeka. Now we're going to... We just watched a bunch of basketball. And I want to talk about how underrated Drew Holiday is. If you're a Pelicans Sixers fan for the last 15 years, you already know this. Especially if you're a Bucks fan over the last few years. But anybody who's watched those organizations... Drew Holiday was drafted by the Sixers and then the Netherlands Noel trade. They traded Drew Holiday for Netherlands Noel because the Pelicans wanted to create a duo of Drew Holiday and Anthony Davis. And then, of course, the deal that led to Drew Holiday being traded to Milwaukee. And everyone agrees that they wouldn't have won a title without Drew Holiday. And for me, I think the big thing with the takeaway you take here is Drew Holiday this season. If you didn't know, now you know he's averaging 19.5 points, 7 half assists, 5 rebounds a night. And my, if you guys don't know, that's the second best scoring output he's had in his career, with the best being in New Orleans, his second last year in New Orleans. But besides that, he's shooting the most threes of his career, almost seven threes a night, and he's hitting the most. Now, basically everything, you, he's being the best version of himself, basically almost a career high in assists, okay? Doing his thing on defense. Um, if you have him fantasy, he's been fantastic. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the impact that Drew Holiday has. Um, I think it's just something that goes overstated. Because he's actually a shooting guard who became a point guard and over the course of his career. And he is arguably one of the best defenders in the league at the perimeter position. And Drew Holiday, he had a season high, 35 against Indiana. Then, you know, took it up and 37 against Toronto. And Giannis Antetokounmpo has been out the last line, out of the lineup for the last four games. And in that stretch, Holiday's averaging 27.3 points, 9.8 assists. And for us, it just goes to show how good Drew Holiday is. Um, it's just Holiday has always been this guy who's invigorated from the point of attack with aggressiveness on both ends of the floor. You know, he throws his body in harm's way, especially to get into spots in the paint, to cause havoc on defense, and all the things that you'd hope from a league guard. That's why they traded for him. And for me, I just think he's one of the most overlooked players in the NBA. And... For me, it's just watching him him play sometimes is like watching a master's class and how to be a basketball player. Because there's a quote, I forgot who said it. It's like, I don't, I don't get why we call them two-way players. Because for me, that's just a basketball player. Plays both ends of the floor. And I think the, the man who, who really plays that quote to the team is Drew Holiday. I'm really being serious by that. Like, this this is a guy that I think there's very few people in the league as a whole who diligently play both ends of the floor. Complete player. A leader. Not just by, you know, his voice, by his words, but by example, which, again, I think is like an underrated thing. We always talk about guys being leaders and stuff, but just guys, leaders with their play is something that I think gets overlooked. And Drew Aldi is definitely that one. I mean, think about this. He's got three brothers in the league. Okay. Like, that's some good genes that not only did you play in the NBA. No, no, no. You and your brothers played in the NBA. Like, y'all were... I think one of them was undrafted. Justin might have been a second-round pick or undrafted. I know Aaron was first, so it was Drew. But, so, don't don't hold me to that one. I'm not over here sitting, you know, sitting around dissecting the family tree, like, to a T. But you get the point that I'm making. The genes are there, okay? And these ain't no Jenko genes, okay? So... For me, when you look at this situation, it's already, it's great. So, like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good jazz. It'd be greatly appreciated. Um, Yeah, I'm going to head out. I love y'all. It's like 2.52 in the morning. Dude, I got this organic, right? It's so good.